All right, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another Undisputed video. Another request video coming in as well. This one is from a Mr. Danny Quinn, who wants me to see. He wants to see me play as Connor Ben against an opponent of my choosing. So uh, he's left it up to me. Uh, let's see. We can either have him at middleweight or well set up. Should we go? Let's see what kind of opponents we've got. Hang on. So we're 81. What kind of opponents have we got at middleweight? I'm thinking maybe Roy Jones or... We could have fa father and son fight. Nigel versus Connor. Anything interesting at welterweight? We've got an 83 against a 90 Canelo match. Maybe against Crawford. 91 for Sugar Ray. Uh, tell you what, I'll go. Actually, there's Connor's stats if you're curious about that. I don't think we've seen many of his stats yet. We'll rematch Sean Porter. I think we did this the other way round a couple of weeks ago. We had Porter versus Connor Ben. I don't know, though. Maybe. Uh, Maybe against Crawford, maybe? Decisions. Go on, we'll go against Crawford. 91. Let's have a bit of a bit of a, a gap in the stats there. And we will shall go on. Let's go on. Compu box. I want to see that. That white canvas. I really like that change to that arena uh, 1.5 on the damage let's go so much energy here in the house tonight we are live at the CompuBox Academy I'm Todd Grisham and here is the destroyer Connor Ben, one of those must-see type of fighters coming out of the UK. The famous son of a legend who's beating his own path. Terence Bud Crawford, one of the pound-for-pound pound best in the world, fighting out of Nebraska, USA, one of the greatest of all time. Just take note, Todd. Check out the reach. Check it out. And now we toss it up to the world-renowned ring announcer, Mr. Jimmy Lennon Jr. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, introducing from Essex, England, a continental welterweight champion, Connor the Destroyer Ben. Fighting out of the blue corner from Omaha, Nebraska, here is an acclaimed three-division champion of the world, Terence Bud Crawford. What a pleasure to be in this unique environment. Every seat has been taken for tonight's match. This place is like a coliseum. When it's packed out, the fans are there. You can hear the punches. You can smell the sweat. The heat is second to none. No doubt about it. This was the hottest ticket in town by a country mile. Every seat has been sold. All right, let's see how we get off. fighters promised us an offensive show. Let's see if they deliver. The courage on display here is incredible. Not many of the people in the division hit like them. Lands with the right counter. Neither one of them want this to go to the judges' scorecards. One of the hottest tickets around. It's standing room only for this, our main event. 
situations like this, Todd, will either make or break a fighter because the expectation from the fans of the people here, of the millions of people oh, around the world, people like you and I, wild, Saturday, just slinging in the pocket there. Expecting everything and anything can break a man or make a man. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched, skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you, and so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. Halfway through the round, and there's not a lot separating these two. And a oh. counter left. Big shots from Crawford there. Nice oh. counter shot. Coming back to life. Crawford oh, hit him Crawford. early. And they're down. <laughs> and I think I just made it somewhere. Fuck me, is he dead? I fucking hit him with about 70 fucking punches there. What a knockout head it's finally an uppercut that put him down. And they knew it when they threw it. I think I just got second and CTE just from looking at that. Fucking hell. Double jab, right uppercut, and a little left hook on the way down. Let's talk about Conor Blinn. It's not over till it's over, but... He's knackered. He's knackered after one round. What a knockdown. You know in the corner now, they're saying, when you get out there, jump on him. Do not give him chance to breathe. Bully him. Throw him. Don't let him bully, Leo. Don't let him bully yourself. Oh, big right up to the body there. And Terrence. And that's here. Away from getting stopped. Counterfighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. To beat a counter puncher, you've got to take them out of their pace. I mean, Do Crawford's just doesn't give a shit about stamina. <laughs> He's just fucking long. using his. Rush them. Like it's going out of fashion. Saying that's so all mine. You're fighting a counter puncher, you want to bait them in to throw first. Make them think you're going to throw a punch so that they exchange. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Neither one of these fighters want to see the judges' scorecards. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. This is not the way he wanted this fight to start. Let's see if he can get out of trouble. And right back into the fray. He misses with that jab. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Good left counter that lands. Let's talk about Connor Ben. And there's the bell for round three. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. left hand he's got a massive reach advantage let's see if he uses it very smart very sharp this is a fit young man oh, style that he's got a couple of shots coming in there reach. not many fights can do that he threw the hook didn't land Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Nice job landing that left counter punch. 
Oh, I caught with an uppercut myself Imagine coming in there. Changes from both men in this round. Perfectly matched, skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what? I'm just that notch above you, and so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. Halfway through the round, and there's not a lot separating these two. These two fighters are made for one another. Left punch. Good counter left hand oh, there. Oh, a nice combination there. There's a scoring blow. They exchange punch. Whoa, wait a minute. What a shot. Looking finally. As we see it again, there's a power no left hook. Bang. Broke the block right straight after like it. That. Oh, and another left hook connected on the way down. Let's talk about Conor Bill, where this next round is going to... Here we go in round four. Who's going to land the first big shot? He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. What a knockdown. You know in the corner now, they're saying, when you get out there, jump with him. Do not give him chance to breathe. Bully him, throw him, push him down. Punch no, him let him bully him. Keep letting the shots go, because you know the one shake your leg. They're like, and that's it, away from getting stopped. And he just misses with that jab. In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power. And I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the chin, take the mind off protecting everything around that. Work the body, use tactics sometimes to so like to actually outbox a fight and beat them on points. The oh, is going a nice three punch combo there. Will they see a huge upset here? Some nice exchanges from both Crawford in trouble. And they're oh, down. beautiful liver shot we'll be right straight here left off. Take the full eight seconds. Let's watch this again. He set it up perfectly and knocked him down. At some point, the corner may have to intervene here because Crawford is dazed. Final 10 seconds here, and I think he knows who's won this round. Let's talk about Connor Bill. So, and there's the bell for round five. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not gonna happen. He's got a horse on there. He's got a he's got a bluff him. You'd like to see this fighter protect themselves a little better. He gets out of the way of that left hand.
This fighter is sort of the death by a thousand paper cuts approach. He'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. You've got to ruffle their feathers, Todd. You cannot let them get comfortable, drag them, get them complaining to the referee. Because once somebody with excellent foot speed and excellent power gets into the rhythm, the fight is over. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. We're at the halfway point of this round, and both of these fighters have had their moments. Still could go either way. Nice counter shot. Not a lot of defense here at all. Back and forth they go. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Let's talk about Carter Brown. This is the beginning of round six. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Oh, what a beautiful combination there. Could see an upset right here. It appears that the moment of trouble has passed, at least for now. How do they use this fighter's aggression against them? I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. The strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch, they want to punch through you. They don't want to punch you. They want to punch straight through you. So you've got to be careful. Fantastic punch. Crawford's legs are all up. And they're oh, down. Oh, and a little, little right straight to the body is what drops him eventually. Cue up the replay machine. I have got to see that again. He can be behind on points until the last 10... Oh, that's enough for Crawford. A right straight to the body. Closes the show. So it's onward and upward after another knockout win here. Thank you what very much look. for your what request. It was Daniel what Quinn, was it? I can't remember your name. It Quinn. Thanks for Quinny. Thanks for your request, Quinny. I really appreciate that, mate. No mistake there about who won. What a Got any requests? You know what to do. Stick them in the comments, and I'll get to it eventually. All right, but I'm going to leave it there. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one.